And with that, we say welcome in to the program. It's Centel's Intel Live on YouTube. I'm your host, the sensational Centel Wideman, a.k.a. Mr. No Days Off, a.k.a. the One Man Dynasty. This is the best damn sports podcast, period. This is the Undisputed Champion of Sports Podcast. Welcome into the program. It is draft night, baby. NFL draft is here, and we're going to do something we ain't did. We've never done on on the best damn sports podcast period. I mean, you know, we've we've never done this. We're going to do a straight simul, simulcast of this NFL draft. We'll sit here and get live reactions and um, my analysis. And we get, I want you guys' comments also, analysis as well, um, you sports guys out there. So make sure you give me your comments and your feedback as well on some of these draft picks. Uh, so it be a few surprises here tonight. I was trying to wait a little longer to come on, but we got a little fill of time. We can fill it up. Hey, we had news. We got some news. We got some NBA. We can, we can kind of talk about before we get heavy into the NFL draft. Again, welcome into the program. Hey, last night, NBA playoff, we had four big games last night. Um, they went down like this. The New York Knicks eliminated the Cleveland Cavaliers last night by a score of 106-95. Uh, it was very evident uh, early on in the series that the Knicks were the better, better basketball team and Jalen Bronson was a handful. He outplayed Donovan Mitchell the entire series even though the, uh, Mitchell had a very good game last night. It, it was all about the Knicks. Even uh, losing Julius Randle last night to an ankle injury. Don't know how serious that is. He came into the playoffs with an ankle injury. So we still see how that goes. But the Knicks eliminated uh the Cavaliers last night, uh, Cavaliers didn't get much out of Evan Mobley. Um, Jared Allen was a no-show. Darius Garland didn't give him a whole lot. Uh, so, they just coming out of the Knicks playing really, really well. Um, Jalen Brunson, hey man, Jalen Brunson, if you could give out like a postseason MVP award right now, it'd be Jalen Brunson because he has clearly changed this basketball team around. I mean, that's the only addition. I mean, you add Jalen Brunson to what you have, Julius Randle and and and, and RJ Barrett. And now Mitchell Robinson played. Oh, man, Mitchell Robinson had an outstanding series um against the Cavs. He dominated Jeff uh Jared Allen and Evan Moses. So uh just big props to the Knicks. Um Jalen Brunson and the crew. Hopefully, uh Julius Randle is healthy for the next round. So we'll see how that goes. Um uh, very predictably. I thought the Memphis Grizzlies were going to win this game last night with the Lakers. I just, if you're a Laker fan, I think that you that you should have known that that the Memphis probably was going to win that game. Desperate team, a really good, talented team, and you know the Lakers will throw you, throw you, they'll throw you a stinker. They'll throw you a stinker out there now. They'll just throw you one. They'll just throw you one out there, and and and, and I'm not at uh, not at all surprised that they uh played the way they did. LeBron had a horrible game. I think he had 15 points. AD played pretty well, but uh, it was too much Morant, too much Desmond Bain. They combined for 64 points. And uh, the game got close at one point uh, in the third quarter, but then the Memphis kind of, um, you know, t- pulled off away toward the end, but they were up for the majority of the game. I, I seen this coming. I thought Memphis would win this game. I just... It, 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 again, I you can you can see a stinger from the Lakers coming. They had played so well the last couple of games, so not to be alarmed if you're a Laker fan. I think they get it done in Game Six. Um, shocker, shocker. I mean, no way, this is no way else to put this. How else to explain what happened? But in the Milwaukee Bucks, Miami Heat series. I mean, you talking about the Miami Heat who were eight seed? Not only were they an eight seed, they were in the play in. And they lost the first playing game. Had to come back and win the second playing game. They take on the number one seed and not the number one seed out of the playoffs. Big up to Jimmy fucking Buckets. I'm t- Jimmy fucking Buckets. I was gonna say effing Buckets, but god damn it, Jimmy Butler. God damn it, man. What a whew, Jesus Christ. What, what a performance by Jimmy. Jimmy had fifty six in game in game four, and then he dropped fifty. He dropped 42 last night in game six in an overtime, th- game five in an overtime thriller. They knocked out a team that a lot of people have predicted to go to the NBA Finals. They were healthy. Giannis played. Brooke was there. Uh, Chris Middleton was there. Drew Holiday was there. It did not matter. 
Jimmy fucking Buckets just pit his team on his back and carried them to the next round of the playoff. You talk about no Tyler Hero, went left for Kevin Love, gave Vincent as a starting point guard. Uh, this series, this was definitely not a, a, a Bam series with the size of Milwaukee, so he didn't get a whole lot out of Bam. Bam showed up at spurts, but not a whole series. And like I say, without Tyler Hero, the second leading scorer on that team, for Jimmy to do what he just did, just to do what he just did was just unbelievable. Tip of the cap, sir, to Jimmy Butler, Miami Heat. They take on the aforementioned New York Knicks in second round should be an interesting series. I think no one had that going. I'm looking right now. I'm gonna get you to we 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 about to Roger Goodell is about to it's about to come on and and then um he's about to come on and tell you the draft is open for business. That's what he's about to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you let you see him. I'll let you see Roger Goodell say the draft is open for business. You can see it, you can't hear it obviously because. This is me. I'm 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 talking over this simulcast. <laughs> I'm talking over the simulcast. The first time ever we have a simulcast. Those so tells it tell. Old draft night. Hey, I don't know how long I'm gonna stay. I would like to tell you I'm staying for the whole first round, but that would be I would be I would not be 100 percent correct if I say I'm staying for the whole first round. I can't promise you I'll stand for the whole first round. But Roger Goodell is now about to put the Carolina Panthers. On the clock officially, uh, they've only been on there since probably the uh, first week in January. Probably been on the clock since the first week in January. Oh no, no, they made a trade. I apologize. They had to trade to that spot. They didn't have the number one spot. They traded from nine all the way up to one. They gave up DJ Moore. They gave up some first round picks. Uh, so yeah, the Panthers made that move. Uh, David Tepper, the GM for the Panthers. Uh, want to make a splash so he jumps up to the number one pick in the draft uh we shall see how it goes i had a lot of there was a lot of chatter about cj stroud um most of the draft process even from yours truly uh and, and as we've gone along in this process this is seen to be leaning more toward this is more toward a um bryce young um Pick. That's what it seems like we, we're going to be heading, but they're not officially on the clock yet, but they're getting there. Right now, we are introducing people. Um, quite frankly, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I, I really don't. I, I would like to say I know who these people are, but I don't really know who these people are. Oh, I know who that guy is. I know who that guy is, and they are in Kansas City for the year's draft, so it, it's only right that you bring out the reigning, defending, current World undisputed champions, um, Pat Mahomes, and that's Travis Kelsey, of course, uh, in tow with with Pat Mahomes with the Super Bowl trophy in hand. Um, they defeated. Uh, who did they? They beat the Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles, in the Super Bowl this past year. Super Bowl, a uh, very highly contested game. Really good game. Uh, but that guy right there is a two-time Super Bowl champion, a league, two-time league MVP. Uh, there go to one of the greatest tight ends in the history of the game. He's still writing. He's still putting his resume out there. That's Travis Kelsey. Still putting his resume out there. We're going to get you back to that. Just a second. Let me get over this lad. Like I said, let me get through praising Jimmy Jimmy Butler for the performance they had against. They take on the Knicks um, in the next round. I think they play Sunday, I want to say. I think they play Sunday. Maybe Saturday. I think they play Sunday. Um, and the last game last night was the Warriors um, at Sacramento. The Warriors get a win, 123-116. Steph Curry had 31. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, who had a broke finger or some kind of issue with a finger, he was hobbled. Um, he played, but he was definitely hobbled. Shot 7 25 from the field, had 24 points. So he wasn't as effective as he's been throughout the series. Um, so we'll see how that goes moving along. We got some NFL news. Got the news we've been waiting for for months, I guess. We've been waiting on this for a while. Lamar Jackson finally gets his deal. The commissioner has put the Carolina Panthers on the clock. We have 9 minutes, 39 seconds in count um, for, for them to make their selection. Um, Lamar Jackson signs a five-year, $260 million deal, eight, $185 million guaranteed. Uh, last week, Jalen Hurts got 
a five year, two hundred fifty five million dollar deal, one hundred seventy nine million dollars uh, guaranteed. So now Lamar, the highest paid quarterback, didn't get to that two hundred million guaranteed number. I thought he would, but once Jalen Hurts set the market, I thought this would kind of expedite his uh his uh contractual situation, and it did. And um, so Jimmy is now in tow. And I mean, uh, Lamar is not in tow. Jimmy on my Jimmy Butler is on my fucking mind right now. Lamar is in tow at, a, at five year, two sixty at one eighty five. So he's in the clubhouse. Uh, you know, coming up, we got Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow next. So they will probably go higher than that. But that's your NFL news. I'm gonna get you back to the draft as I go through things as I talk. You can watch the draft and I mean commentate this draft thing. There we go on the draft. Um, so. A friend of mine, uh, Kiwi Dennis, uh, every year we do a, we call it a fan mock draft on Facebook. Uh, so if we, we've done this uh, eight years now. This is, eight, this is the eighth year we just did it. We just did it. So basically what we do, uh, our teams, uh, the, uh, you know, our favorite teams, the teams that we're fans of, we get to be GM for for the first round of the NFL draft. So we go to the fa- – we go – we go in the mock draft. It's the orders presented to us. And when our team turn, we pick throughout the day. We do a write-up. We tell you why. You know, just giving you analysis of the guy that we drafted and why the team should draft them our knees, just like you would you see right here. Just what's your knees, who you think you should draft, and we do that. So I'll be kind of reading off of some of those mock drafts, some of those um, write-ups of what the guys thought of the draft picks. If, if, if a lot of these are gonna get out of whack because, like I say, you know you're gonna have trades coming, so it'll probably start off. <laughs> it'll probably start off right, but then it kind of gonna kind of leave and kind of go off the rails a little bit um, when we get into that. But uh, we will I will get back to them just a, just a second um, also. But it's draft night and we're here on Centel's Intel, the best damn sports podcast. Period. The undisputed. Champion of Sports Podcast, and I'm your host, the sensational uh, Centel White. Man, I'll get you back to that. We're about six minutes and some ch- with seven minutes, almost seven minutes away before the Carolina Panthers make their first draft pick. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to get in on the comment session, you want to get in and and make and ask questions or anything that that you're on your mind as we watch this draft. Uh, Jeff Gilbert gets saying Jimmy Butler postseason MVP. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, look, cause I said Jalen Brunson, and I, I I did say Jalen Brunson. Uh, I guess we can do a co MVP because I I really feel like Jalen Brunson has changed the Knicks. We've seen Jimmy Butler do this, although I am I'm surprised when he does it. But we've seen him, we've seen Jimmy do this now. Like we've seen him do it, so we shouldn't be surprised. But I I do like Jalen Brunson, man. You you talking about the Knicks? You talking about the Knicks going to the second round of the playoffs? Man, I, I can't even. I don't. I didn't even research when the last time the Knicks went to the second round of playoffs. I didn't even look. I didn't even have a chance to even research that. But I know it's been a long damn time. A long time. I'm not even sure if Carmelo got to the second round of the playoffs with the Knicks. I'm not even sure of that. Uh, it's just been a, it's been forever on a day since the Knicks got to the second round of the playoffs. Um, maybe that. No, that was the first round. Hawks, Hawks and Knicks when Trey Young. That was the first round. I'm pretty sure it was the first round. So I'm I'm not even sure the next time the Knicks went. To the um, second round of the NBA playoffs, so I'm big up on Brunson, big up on, big up on um, Jimmy Butler as well, man. Hey, let's get to this draft. We got five minutes to go. Carolina Panthers obviously traded up from the number from number nine to number one. They have a guy in mind. They didn't want to wait. They didn't want to play Russian roulette with their franchise. Uh, so they made the decision to get on up into this draft. They, like I said, they traded. Um, the receiver DJ Moore in this trade in this deal, uh, they have signed Hayden Hurst in the off season. They've signed Adam Thielen in the off season. They signed Miles Sanders, the running back from Philadelphia, this off season. Um, I like the defense. Brian Burns is pretty good. Um, uh, you got this, uh, Derek Brown on the inside. He's really good. You got. Uh, Thompson, Shaq Thompson, the linebacker is pretty good. Uh, I can't think of the safety name right offhand. Just a little slip in my mind. The safety that I like, can't think of his name right offhand. Ugh, it's gonna kill me. But he's really good. I just think 
Uh, in the NFC South, though, I mean, they also added DJ Chalk. I didn't even see the DJ Chalk pickup. That's a good pickup. So they did pick up two. Those are two solid receivers, uh, especially when you bring in a young quarterback, the tight end, Hurt, Hyde, uh, Hayden Hurst, who I mentioned earlier. That'll help a young quarterback as well. Um, because the guy you take right here, I, I think he's a day one starter without any question about it. They cleared the deck. There's no more Baker. There's no more Sam Darno. So this is this 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 quarterback who's about to get drafted right here. This this is the um, this he's gonna be the day one starter. It it's just nowhere around that. Um, so that's where we are. About three minutes away from this pick. Uh, <laughs> You think they've been on the clock as long as they've been on the clock. This should not take this long, but here we are. Again, you want to get in? Chime in with your thoughts and your comments, questions. We're live. We're interactive right now on the Best Damn Sports Podcast, period. Sintel, Zintel, right here live on YouTube. Uh, mm. Jeez, 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 jeez. Okay, pick is in. We have the pick. The pick is in. As you can see, if you are watching, you can see that the pick is in. Who's it going to be? I thought we all assumed it's going to be Bryce Young. The great Charles Davis, former great Tennessee linebacker, Tennessee cornerback, also. Uh, the voice on CBS put sports as an analyst does a great job for CBS. Love Charles Davis. Uh, as Daniel J. Jeremiah, one of the draft gurus, experts. There's Joe Clatt, Big Ten, Pac-12, college football Saturday. You can catch him and Gus Johnson, one of the best in the game. Gus Johnson uh, called Big Ten and Pac-12 games on Saturday. And also the great Rich Eisen needs no introduction. Former Sports Center anchor. Now has his own podcast that does great. Host of, host of the NFL Network. The face of the NFL Network. Uh, uh, Rich does a great, fantastic job. Uh, always been a fan. But the pick is in. Um, no, I don't have it. Yeah, no, I don't even have the captions up. So I don't. I, I, I don't know what what they're talking. Say what they're saying. So I'm. 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 Y'all living through me right now. Carolina clock, and I think clock has already started for Houston. Houston's already eight minutes, eight minutes and twenty seconds in count. So that's good. So the clock already has started on Houston. They're already eight minutes in on them. So we just waiting for the commissioner. Harry comes to um, hopefully save the day for the Carolina Panthers and their franchise. Out of here before we get out before I get out of here man I I, I want to um acknowledge somebody who passed away today and and we'll end the show like the way he used to do it before I do that though again let me say thank y'all for joining and tuning in to the Centers into the best damn sports podcast period the undisputed champion of sports podcast I have been your host the sensational Santel Wildman before I leave this show tonight I'm gonna we'll say it like this Take care of yourself and each other. Until the next time, peace.